everyone. Melissa Crook here, designer for Dobello's Designs. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I've made this card here that I am calling a sparkly jellyfish or swords. Um, I've had a request to make this tutorial today, so I thought I would go ahead and share how I've made it. Um, so this is a DL size card. The supplies that you're going to need are, of course, a piece of good card for your topper. Um, I'm using Lavinia Stamps Multifarious Supreme and Smooth in the DL size, and I will trim this down. Um, I'm going to be using a card base that is a four by eight and a quarter and a black mat that is three and three quarters by eight and this will give a one eighth inch border i'll cut the mat size down or excuse me the card front down to a three and a half by seven and three quarters For the stamps that we're going to be using, we have Jalandhar LAV seven or excuse me six three four, Marine Kelp LAV six two five, Sea Tangle LAV six two nine, Sea Algae LAV six two six, and the Water Spirit Verse LAV six two seven. And these are the measurements of the card. Again, the base for the card itself is four by eight and a quarter, a mat that is three and three quarters by eight, and the card front three and a half by seven and three quarters. Other supplies that we're going to be needing are the Lavidia Bob Long um, gel press. We're going to use a stamping platform and an acrylic block. For the inks on the gel press, we're going to use Elements Inks by Lavinia Stamps. And I have it in Violet Chalk, Blue Lagoon, Lime punch and mermaid to apply the ink i'm going to be using my blending brushes you will also need a spray bottle of water and a pot of water for cleanup um, a paint brush and a fan brush we are going to be using um, Versafine Claire inks for stamping. So I have that in Warm Breeze and Monarch. We're going to do unboxing. So I'm going to be using my Versamark Watermark stamp pad for embossing. For embossing, you will need, of course, your anti static tool and a heat embossing gun. For the embossing powders, I'm going to change just a little bit from this card. I'm going to um, emboss Jalandhar in Wow Clear Sparkle. The Mermaid Kelp will be in Spring Breeze. The Sea Tangle is going to be in Persian Indigo. And I'm going to do the Sea Algae. Instead of Red, I'm going to use Oceanic. I'm um, also going to need some bubble wrap. If you don't want to use bubble wrap, you could use a stencil, but I'm going to show you a cool way to do that. And um, you probably, oh, you're going to need just various paper, um, just a piece of folded paper to pick up your embossing powders and a paper towel to soak up some water. Okay, let's get started. 
So I have my Bob Long Gel Press here just laid on my glass media mat. And I have my sheet of multifarious card that we'll pull print with in a second. So we're going to start with Lime Punch and our blending brush. And we're just going to get some ink on there. And then we're just going to pounce, and I'm just using a stippling motion, the line punch just in the center. And just randomly all over. Looks pretty good. And now with our violet chalk, and bring that up. And remember that it's a mirror image, so I want the violet chalk to be on the right hand side, so I'm going to put it on the left hand side. And just pounce that all over. Okay. And then with our mermaid and back to the green blending brush, pick that up. Just looked a little dark one to make sure I didn't mix something up. Now we're just going to go around the edge in that same pouncy motion. And I'm going to go all the way, just adding a couple of layers. And we're going to bring in some of the Blue Lagoon and I'm just going to go around the edge of my gel press. And then we're going to take our bubble wrap and I'm just going to ink up A little ink on there and get our spritzer bottle and uh, if you can see there's just a bit of ink and we're just going to spray that pretty good and then we're just going to give our background a bit of texture so you don't need a whole lot and just let that sit and then we're going to take our fan brush and our pot of water and just do some real fine droplets now you could add more color if you wish or add some brushos but sometimes plain water gives a nice effect as well okay and we're going to go down with our multifarious card and pick this color up. Let's just give that a real nice smooth over. Ooh, look at that. That's so pretty. You get all those nice water spots. And Yeah, what a nice background. Okay, now we'll just move that off to the side. We're done with that. And paper towel here and just wipe this mess up. I'm going to give this a quick blast with my heat gun.
and then we're going to trim up our card to three and a half by seven and three quarters. Okay, so there's our background. And now we're going to start with our stamping and embossing. So we're going to use, I'm going to use my stamping platform. And first thing you want to do is take your card and your anti-static tool, whether you have a little bag or one with a little brush, either way, just make sure you go over it really good. Give it a good rub. And place that in there. Line up Jolander. And we're going to ink up in the Versafine Claire Monarch. And we're going to emboss with the clear sparkle over the Monarch. So the stamp has a lot of really fine details, so give it a good, good amount of ink. that door. Good press. And now okay and with the wow clear sparkle we're just going to pour that over the top. Give that a good coverage. And tap off the excess. We'll put some powder back in the pot. going to heat set. Kind of get your card back in shape a little because it gets a little misformed. Well, that will be fine. Okay. Now we are going to stamp with our marine kelp. And this time we're going to ink up in our Versamark pad. And now we're going to heat emboss that with the spring breeze. Gives it a nice shine. 
know if you can see that on the TV, on the, excuse me, on the video. Okay. And then next we're going to use the C algae. We're also going to stamp this up with our verse mark. And this time we're going to use the Persian indigo. And remember, this is an embossing glitter with embossing powder, so it doesn't take very long. Don't burn it. And finally, we're going to last one is the C Tangle. And I was going to change and not use the red and use the Oceanic. But since I've changed my mind back, um, I did completely make a whole nother card and video and this is the example um but it gets kind of lost in there so i like the red it stands out better and again with the versa mark Little piece of fuzz on my stamp there. I'm gonna get off. And now back with the Ruby Romance. I'm just making sure I have a good coverage on there. And now we will heat set. So I think that red just really shows up a whole lot better. Nice contrast.
Okay, and now we're going to um, stamp up with our verse stamp. And I'm not going to use my platform for this. I'm just going to use a stamping block and grab a couple pieces of paper. So I have our um, our water verse, and I'm going to ink that up with the Versafine Flare Sea Breeze or Warm Breeze, excuse me. And I'm going to use just a piece of paper. I'm actually going to use the same paper, and I'm just going to kind of give that a mask. And just go down the edge. And it won't hurt anything to just stamp right over. your embossed area it'll just stamp right over it and then you can just take your paper towel and just kind of blot that ink off of there okay so now we are going to color in Jaland Heart. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I apologize if I'm not. And the first thing we're going to do is just take your water paintbrush with just some water, and then we're just going to lift some of this color from the background out. Now, of course, you can mask this off, but I feel like this would be a very hard stamp to mask just because of all this fine detail. And I don't know, I think jellyfish are just kind of see-through anyways, so being able to see a little bit through it, I think it's just fine. So we're just going to give that a blot and pull up some of that color. Most of it's still there, but it's a little bit lighter. And now we're going to take our violet chalk and just get some ink from our lid, mix in with a little water, and then we're just going to paint in that purple with a very watered down amount of ink. We'll just give his body a little definition and some more color. And blot to dry. And just fill in his little tendrils.
going to give that a quick dry. And now with our blue blending brush and our blue lagoon again, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and we're just going to darken up the edges. Oh, that's pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and finish our card. And I've been asked to show card finishing and assembling as well. So while this dries, I'm going to set this off to the side. So I have my DL card and I'm going to take my bone folder and score it. That down a little bit. Okay, so now what I do before I assemble my card is I take, I have a little stamp that just says handmade by. So if you're using a signature stamp, now's a good time to do that. And now's the time when I always make a mess. <laughs> so I sign and date. Okay. And then we're going to take our sheet of black card that measures three and three quarters by eight. So we will have a one eight inch border all the way around. So this has a little bit of a blemish. So I'm going to tape that side down. My tape runner. And you just want to line it up as straight as possible. Okay. And now this is pretty good and dry too. And we will stick that on there. Okay, and I typically leave my cards blank unless I'm using a verse, and then sometimes I'll just put the verse on the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stamp it up in the same colors in the warm breeze. And as straight as I possibly can make it. And then you have a nice little verse inside. Also, you can take your other stamps and we're going to, we're going to do that. 
And I'm going to ink this up in the Monarch. This is the Sea Algae. Stamp that down. Just gives your card just a little bit more. And then on the inside, on the envelope as well. You're going to leave enough room for your um, address and your stamp if you will be doing such, if you'll be mailing. And even if you're going to give this away or unless you're sending it to somebody you know, um, you want to leave enough room for people to write. And then we're going to use the mermaid on the sea kelp. And I went didn't need to go that far. But. Okay, stamp that. Perfect. And there you go. You have your very sparkly ocean scene with a envelope that is decorated as well. So this is in there. That will be perfect fit. Okay. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this card today. Um, this I made just, I was just making and I had posted it on our Facebook group. And I also showed it in the embossing tutorial that I just made a couple weeks ago. Um, a lady sent me a message on Facebook and requested a tutorial for this card. Um, so speaking of Facebook, we have two Facebook groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge, Retailer of Lavinia Stamps, and we have Del Bello's Designs A La Carte Lounge. Um, these two groups are fabulous. We post lots of different makes on there. Share. We're always happy and willing to help. And my point is that I was asked to do a tutorial from this and we appreciate that. Like you guys have no idea how much that means to us when you want us to create something that we've already made that inspires you and you want to know how. Um, so if you see the word moderator on our Facebook group, that would include myself, um, Robin Riley, Nick Snacks, a.k.a. Barbara Nicolato, um, Kathy Lake, Susie Hubert, and Cheryl McQueen. If you see our names on there, we are designers for Del Bellows. And if you request a card that we've made and you want a tutorial, we all appreciate that. That gives us something that we know that somebody's wanting to make. So... Please do that. Um, anyways, thank you. I'll quit babbling. Have a great day, everybody. And happy crafting. Bye-bye.